Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, John Horniak, business owner, producer, and meeting coordinator, shares why less is more in your communications. After the tip, we go backstage where John shares his smiling dog, his approach to keeping the mind and body sharp, his favorite source for sales and marketing tips, and more. My name's John Horniak, and the name of my company is X2 Media, and I'm going to talk about why less is more in your communications. One of the things that's the most important these days with the bombardment of information, everybody is using their mobile phones, their tablets, their laptops, everywhere, uh, 100%, 24-7, uh, you have to get your message across. You have more competition than you ever had before. So it's imperative that you eliminate all the clutter in your presentations and, and get down to the basic facts, what's important for your customer, what your value statement is to your customer, to your prospect, or to your audience, and develop that value statement in a way, shape, and form and present it in the shortest amount of time possible and whittle down what information is important and what information is not so important. And finally, my advice would be, make it easy to see through the clutter. If you can remember, there was a commercial from Vidal Sassoon, and one of their statements at the end of the commercial was, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Same th holds true in our business. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. That is what I try to get across to our clients in terms of refining their message down to a point where they will be remembered. Up next, we get to know John. Author Jonathan Safran Foyer asked, Why does watching a dog be a dog fill one with happiness? I'd like to tell you about our little Yorkshire Terrier that we got about three years ago. He was a rescue dog. His name is Nicholas. And uh, what kind of makes him unique um, is the fact that he has a couple of tricks that we never really taught him. He just uh, had those when we got him, and we didn't even realize it when we got him. It was the fact that when you give him a treat, he'll get up on his hind legs. He'll stand up for the longest time. It's just amazing how well he's balanced and can hold that stance. And the other thing that's really kind of unique about the dog is that he smiles. He's got this big, huge grin on his face. When I get home from work or come home from doing a class, he'll uh, be on the top stair. He hears the garage door come open up, and he'll be up on the top stair just smiling at me. And it's the cutest thing, but uh, he's a lot of fun. He's just great, great addition to our family, and uh, he's just a, a, a lot of fun to be with. Watch as John shares how physical challenges help clear his mind for breakthroughs. A lot of times um, when I'm having an issue or a problem or something that's just not qu going quite right or I can't think quite straight through it, a lot of times I'll either get on my bike or I'll go out for a run or go for a swim and um, just to get away from it all and just kind of let the mind relax as well. And a lot of times that relaxing of the mind is just enough to solve the problem. But I think it's a good blend uh, being involved in something that uh, is a physical challenge um, and a physical challenge to yourself just to get your mind off of a lot of the everyday things that are going on. Now, one of the things that I've done to expand that, that physical activity is I became a certified spin instructor and group fitness instructor, and I teach um, spin classes as well as uh, group uh, fitness classes, core classes. I teach a total of 18 classes a week which is a lot. Um, do it a lot in, in spare time, in the evenings, early mornings. Um, and again, it helps me keep the mind and body um, functioning the way they should be. You know, you want to keep your mind sharp, you want to keep your body sharp as well. John resolves an unhealthy habit, then goes extreme. Well, about 33 years ago, I smoked a pack of cigarettes a day, and I also was running five miles a day. And uh, I, um, shortly after I got married, uh, about six months after I got married, I quit smoking and uh, was able to increase my mileage to the point where I was able to run marathons. And I did uh, probably 40, 50 of those. I've done Boston three times. 
and then got into uh, swimming as therapy just to help loosen up the legs. And my wife asked me, she said, you're not going to get into those triathlon things. And I said, that'll never happen. And then a year later, I bought a bike. And I started getting involved in triathlons and did a bunch of the shorter races, worked up to the Olympic distance. Then I got into half Ironman races, and then I finally raised the bar. I've done a full Ironman four times, which consists of a 2.4-mile swim, 112-mile bike, and then you run a marathon, 26.25 miles for a total of 140.6 miles all in one, one session. Many people in the business world rely on news to keep up to date. John is no exception. I'm very influenced by Jeffrey Gittimer. Jeffrey Gittimer has an online newsletter that you can subscribe to. It's free of charge. And he provides weekly advice in the areas of sales and marketing that I think really hits home. He does a really good job. He does it very briefly, but he's got a lot of great information in terms of how to sell how to market yourself. Um, one of his taglines is, you know, people hate to be sold, but they love to buy, and which uh, I think holds true uh, for just about anybody. Uh, the, the cold calling uh, that was done you know, years ago that is still being done today is kind of a futile effort. And if you listen or go to his website, and subscribe to his email newsletter, he'll, he'll give you a lot of good reasons as to why that is. But he is a, a really a good, uh, a good source for a lot of information. Um, and a lot, like I said, a lot of it's free. So how did John score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for making less more, being an Iron Man, adopting rescue dogs, and spinning. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.